Hello guys, welcome to a quick tutorial on how to use the Udelic system for entry marks for all senior high schools in Ghana. So without wasting time, we need to launch a web browser on our laptop. This is a laptop version. The next videos would have the mobile phone or the tablet version. So let's get started. I'm going to launch, first of all, I'm going to launch a web browser. I'm going to use Google Chrome. So I double click on my Google Chrome icon to launch it. Alright, so it is running. Now, after doing that, the next thing to do is to enter the URL of your school Unilink site. So it varies from school to school. I'm going to use the Bwase Senior High School as example. So in this case, we are going to use their address. So the address for the Obuasi Senior High School Union link is obuasishs.unionlink.com. Mind you, the union link here is spelled U-N-I-L-Y-N-Q. So there's a twist to the spelling there, so you have to take note. If you get the address wrong, you wouldn't be able to get to the site. So you have to get it right. So we wait for it to load. As you can see, the screen is loading. Alright, so we have it. So I'm going to enter my credentials and then click on login. So this is my username. And then this is my password. Um, before that, if you don't, you have issues with the username and password, you contact your school administrator. Or better still, you can enter your email address, email account, and then search for Unilink so that you see if you have received any message from Unilink. Once you have the message, it makes resetting your account or trying to ret retrieve the account more easier. So let's log in and then get started. So once you enter your username and password properly, you click on sign in. So we have signed in and this is the first page. This is the first page. Alright. So what we are going to do is, if you are entering for your first time, you have to ensure that you are in the current track. So to change the track, you can see this is screen track. So I've clicked on the track and then you click on switch track so this helps you to switch the track well, I'm already in my track so I don't need to switch any track now let's be click on this so let's go to the main dashboard so you come this is the where we have the dashboard so I'm going to click on the teacher module and then go to teacher console for teachers you know entering of marks and stuff would be focusing more on the teacher because we'll talk about the other options in a subsequent um, tutorials so wait patiently for the site to load all right so this is how it's going to look like it is how it's going to look like we are going to scroll up so that you can see so this is the, how the interface looks like and this is these are my classes these are my classes my course code is ICT. I teach ICT core elective, so these are the course code. Code. Then these are the subjects. Okay. Then these are the classes. So this is two B two, which is two business two, two at one, two at two, and the like. So these are the classes, and these are where you can do action. So these are where we can actually register students in group. So what you do? is to actually confirm if I have about 10 classes so what you are supposed to do is you pick them class by class so I'm going to look at the first class which is 2 business 2 click on more and then I can view class list the reason for viewing class list there are certain instances where we have students who do not take a particular course so in such cases you are supposed to remove such a student from the class list before you register them. That is the essence of viewing the class list. 
But in this case of mine, we I'm not going to do anything like that. But I just want to demonstrate that. So this is these are the students in this class of mine. These are the students in this class of mine. So let's say, yeah, these are the students. If you don't like a student, you can take the student out of the group. But my class, everybody does my course, read my course, so that is not necessary. So I'm going to register the student. So you click on more and then you click on register student. Once you do that and you click yes, proceed, the student will be registered and you get a feedback. Then it gives you a preview of the student that have been registered. So that is what you are going to do. You do that for all the classes you have. So we just do for the sake of this tutorial, we are just going to focus on two classes. We do two, and then that will be okay for you to do the rest of the classes. All right. So as you want to take this student out, you just click, and then the student is taking us. Once the student is taking us see the out in red assigned to the student the second student that same thing so that is how it's like okay okay all right so in my class everybody is everybody takes the course so i'm not going to take out anybody else i'm just going to close and i move to the next class then register i'm not going to everybody and you proceed so that is how it is that is how it is so you ensure you register all the classes you have register them and when you are done you have to create an assessment template or assessment form the purpose for doing that is for you to set your assessment formats for the various classes so for instance in the semester your students took two ho homeworks one exercise and then um, one standardized test or in another class the students took three homeworks which were over five marks each then three exercises which were over 20 marks each and then two class test so that's the basis of that i don't know why this is taking long i think it's the internet so once the registration gets successful then the next thing is you create the assessment Currently, whatever we are doing is under the lesson. You know, we have lessons, we have assessment, and then yeah, so the students have been registered successfully, and we have a feedback. So you can either scroll down and then save. You can scroll down and then save using this scroll wheel. All right, I'm gonna close. All right, so that is with the registration. Now let's do with the assessment. So I'm going to click on this update which comes with the new update edit. Click on that and it says can you tell us how you want to do your assessment? So we have a assignment which is the third. And then yes, my students I gave them two assignments. I gave them two class exercises as well and then one standardized test. So I'm going to click on continue. Then my assignments were twenty we 10 10 and then this is 25 this was about 25 this one too is over 25 and this is over 30 that is my i don't know for yours you know, somebody's own can be 5 5 5 10 15 so based on how you did yours then you format yours in the order now the only disadvantage of having more um, classes or as assessment and co is the more it is you are going to do more of keying because you have more columns in your excel table or excel form 
but then the advantage is also that it helps you in getting a reliable data so let's say a student who have sent his or himself from school okay once who misses a class exercise is likely to get zero for that particular class but when a teacher who gives more assessment on different days for a particular course when a student misses the class he has a chance to write the other one so this one provides the more you write the more reliable your data would be that is the advantage but the disadvantage is you have more way so let's proceed you click on continue and you select the classes to apply so all the classes yes so maybe i'm going to apply to these classes if we, the same method is the format is what you use for all the classes then you just follow and proceed so when you are done you just click on continue and then you can review so you see a preview here when you are done you can just click on save final and that will be it when you are done then you go back to what lessons after going back to lessons now you are going to download the assessment template which is created so click on download and then you wait patiently for the assessment template to be downloaded usually this is not supposed to take long but so this is the download is completed so you can click to show the folder in which it is then you open it so this is the document you open it and it requests for a password so the same password you entered in login in is what you are going to enter so let me enter my password and once you are done you have the document open so this is the first page so it has the number of times you've downloaded i've downloaded 18 times already and this uh data in reference to your school then you have lesson summary okay you can just go through and study study them but the most and this one gives you the performance of the students after you kid but the most important one is here so this is my class two business two so based on what i created homework over 10 um homework for, so what mine is comes with the data because i've already kid if you log in for the first time all of this will be blank or zero 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 point zero zero so you have to do the data engine by entering the data and then for that sub total you leave it blank because it's going to do when it's, it's supposed to be done by itself so when you are done all you have to do is then you save it you save it and then upload so these are the various classes so that is what it is so yes that's about i'm going to close and when you are done after saving then you come here and then click on upload assessment you browse for a downloaded file it's on document so you go to documents no download then downloads is in link assessment so you look for the file and then click on open and then that will be it i'm not going to open i'm not going to upload it so that is about that i hope this lesson or video was helpful thanks for watching subscribe to my channel thank you and so that you can get notification or updates for as at when a new one is updated thank you bye bye enjoy your time